what's up? My name is G Love, and uh, just showing up here at the Brush Fire Records office and studio. So, why don't you guys come check it out? This is a green studio. Check it out. What's up, Josh? How you doing, man? Now you guys put a lot of effort into making it green, so why don't you yeah, tell us did. about this? We finished this uh, this studio, and the next day we started moving gear in, and uh, Jack recorded his record. Again. Really? That's yeah. pretty cool. The studio, the being that it runs off solar power, and it's like all the wood that we use in here was reclaimed lumber. It just feels better. I mean, it feels nice every time you look at that. You know, just doing as many things as you can, low impact. If I had eyes in the back of my head, I would have told you that you look good as I walked away. All the records that are being made in here are being made on solar power. This is where it all comes from. Uh, these, uh, these panels basically soak it up and send it down to that inverter and help mm -hmm. power the whole thing. These are the power inverters, right? We kind of see we got two of them basically sharing the power that's coming from those, uh -huh. flipping it to usable current. How does this work? So you can kind of see right here, um, with the sun out, the uh, meter's running backwards. You know, normally you're at home, you go look at your meter and it's all running forwards as you're using stuff. Even with, uh, you know, some lights on, some computers on, you can see it's running backwards. You're basically, during the day, selling power back and then using power that you've kind of banked uh, at night. So why don't more people do this? I mean, it does take a, an upfront investment. All the equipment to do this is, is rather expensive, but over time, uh, the money we save on this will end up kind of paying back. The materials we used, uh, the choices we made in, you know, how we were going to power the building, we kind of just went as environmentally friendly as possible. This is old school, baby. When you used to go into the old school record labels and they have a studio, that's what these guys got. Tape technology is the way you used to make records. Sure. Uh, and marrying old school kind of recording technology with, you know, new school solar technology, you know, it's like you got the warmth of the tape machine, you know, with the warmth, warmth of the sun. Everybody uses laptops because it uses less power. They're not always plugged in. Whenever you leave your computer plugged in, it just pulls a ton of power. The only person who really uses a desktop is me, and that's just because of the fact that all the editing and stuff. But not leaving a footprint, that's what it's all about. Not leaving the footprint. The flooring, we kind of uh, chose a renewable resource. Uh, in, this, in this room, it's cork. In another room, we got bamboo on the floors. In the bathrooms, we got marmoleum, which is uh, using uh, natural uh, oils rather than petroleum-based oils. We uh, went out and bought recycled furniture. We went and got secondhand stuff. Uh, all the appliances are, you know, kind of energy star, so you use the less, you know, the least amount of electricity possible. You know, even if you go as far as like the bathrooms, there's, you know, two buttons on the top, you know, one for one, two for two. You use less water when you need to use less water. A little potty talk for you right now. If you take a look at this insulation, this is all made from recycled blue jean denim. And now it's used to soundproof and insulate the whole office and studio. It's not as hazardous for the environment to make and it's not hazardous at all for your health. The company as a whole is kind of run off of, you know, Jack's ethos really. Mm -hmm. You know, he's obviously, you know, really uh, into surfing and I think when you kind of spend a lot of time in the natural environment, you realize the, the negative things are happening to it. You know, he's got kids now, he wants those kids to have the access to the same experience as he did. When I first met Jack Johnson, he was just a kid showing up with his guitar and now he's one of the biggest, you know, rock stars on the planet and, um, and he's certainly used his notoriety in a very positive way and this office is, is uh, kind of a testament to that and taking care of business. Yo, Ben, good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. I'll Come see you back soon. soon. I will. For more information on how you can make your world a little greener, go to allatonce.org and check it out. I think you'll find a lot of helpful green tips. Peace.